So I'm on the road with Chris, and we're delivering this pizza. I have no idea where we are. Plus, I'm starving. So I'm like, are we there yet? Yeah, I think so. Should just be up. Uh-oh. What? Chris takes a closer look at his GPS. I put in the wrong address. What? Then, the car starts rattling. And we pull over on the side of the road. What now? Uh, we're out of gas. Are you for real? That's it. I reach over and grab the pizza. What are you doing, man? What do you think? Eating this pizza. Are you crazy? Bruh, it's just pizza. No, man. It's a commitment. We gotta follow through. Okay, how are we gonna do that if we're stranded? Chris looks around and... Up ahead, there's a creepy old gas station. The wind chimes jingle when Chris and I walk inside. I look around. It's mostly just a normal roadside convenience store. There's a cashier at the front. Something seems off. He's stiff, just staring at us, not blinking. Anyways, we don't got time to waste, so I walk right up to him, and I'm like, We're stranded. Can we get a jug of gas? Hey, did you hear- Yes, I mean, you said you were stranded? I nod. D -d -d Does anybody else know you're here? No. What's with the interrogation? Seriously, this guy is creeping me out. Yeah. After that, it got real hectic. Probably could have avoided trouble if I never went with Chris. Why did I go again? Basically, I'm at home editing when... I get a DM. It's a comment. I'm like, cool, I love responding to my subs. So I'm typing, but then, another one. Bruh, I'm going as fast as I can. Something's not right. I go on YouTube and, what the? Tons of animated story channels are popping up and they're all posting daily? How is this possible? I shut my MacBook. I'm like, I'll head to the convenience store to grab a snack, get some fresh air to clear my mind, then... Hey, man! It's Chris. He walks out of an alleyway. Great, it's you. Why are you always chilling in alleyways? I'm working, silly! Oh, well, I ain't one to judge. I'm about to deliver this pizza, man! Wanna join? It's only like a 10 minute drive. Great opportunity for me to pitch you some ideas, man! I'm actually kind of busy with, uh... You owe me. He got me there. Fine. Just this once. So we get into his car. Then Chris is like, Hey Siri, take us to 15 Grenvale Road. Sure. Here are directions to 42 Northwestern Street. Anyways, man, like I said, I got ideas, man. So you know how, like, in your last video? And that brings us up to speed. Of course, it's Glenn. What do you want from me? From you. I don't care about you. I'm here for him. Chris? You really don't know who he is, do you? Glenn pulls out a burner phone and tosses it to Chris. Call your brother. Chris dials someone's number in. Hello? I recognize that voice. Hey, man. It's the famous YouTuber, Axel. Don't tell me he's... Hi, little brother. Glenn grabs the phone. Hi, Axel. Who are you? 
your worst nightmare. Delete your channel by tomorrow or Chris dies. He hangs up, drops the phone on the ground, and steps on it. Get in. We get into the car. Just him. <clears throat> Chris gets in the car. And they drive off. Is it weird that I feel left out? Anyways, as much as I was still taking it all in, I was stranded. I start walking by the side of the road, waiting for a car to pass by. After what seems like forever, finally, I see a black car in the distance. Hey! I wave to it. It gets closer, and it passes me. <sighs> this is it for me. But then, it turns around and comes back for me. Once it pulls up, I get inside and... Oh, no. It's him. The doors lock, the screen turns on, and it's Axel. What do you want from me? From you? I don't want you. But I thought... No, you're gonna bring my brother back to me. And why would I help you do that? Haven't you noticed something strange lately? A lot of new animated story channels. I gave you the chance to join me. But you chose to be difficult. So I went with plan B. Create countless animated story channels myself. With my resources, I can post daily on multiple channels. With so much competition, new subscribers will never find you. Bruh, can I live? Unless I brought Chris back to Axel? Guess not. We track down the Prius to this dingy motel. From the bushes, I toss a rock at it. It cracks the window and the alarm goes off. Then, from one of the rooms, Glenn steps out. He goes to check it out. I sneak around him, into the room, and... Steven! There! Chris is tied up. I run over and untie him. Let's go! We sneak out of the room, then down the stairs, and back to the... A gunshot! We look back. It's Glenn. He's following us. Not so fast, boys. But then... Another gunshot! Axel's bodyguard is waiting by the car. Glenn and Axel's bodyguard start shooting at each other. Me and Chris dive behind the Prius for cover. Why'd you come, man? I need to get you back to Axel. No, I can't go back, man. Why? Don't you get it? Sure, I had it all, man. Money, clout, but I was miserable. I ran away from home because I don't want that life. I want to do things my own way, earn my success. Even if it means starting from the bottom. Can't you respect that, man? Please don't turn me in. Ah. The keys. Glenn's been shot in the leg. I run to pick up the keys and... Get in! Chris and I get in the Prius. Glenn reaches for the door, but... It's locked. I start the engine and... While the bodyguard and Glenn keep going at each other... We escape. Where are you taking me, man? If I don't turn you in, Axel won't stop messing with me. I get it. I'm sorry that my family- But, if you want to make it your own way, I gotta respect it. But what about your channel? If Axel thinks he can bully me because I'm a small channel, just means I gotta get bigger. He can make it harder for me, but he can't make me quit. One day, I'll grow big enough that I can take him down. We're here. We pull up outside someone's house. What? I look towards the back seat at the pizza box. Gotta follow through, right? Chris smiles. We get out of the car and walk towards the front door. Chris hits the doorbell, then the door opens and... 
It's Varun. What's good, fam? Hey, man. One large chicken Caesar. Right, right. So, uh, 40 minutes or it's free, right? 